what's up guys welcome back to the channel uh, today we're heading over to a not so secret spot uh, hopefully do another walk around of the data it's been a while and some things have changed so we'll give you a parts rundown of what's on the bike and what i like and no no i like everything what am i talking about there's no, there's nothing wrong with this bike so yeah, stay tuned for that. We'll do a little walk around and kind of explain the parts on it. If you dig the content, if you dig Harley Davidson content, dig Dyna content, like, comment, and subscribe. It helps us out. And to everyone watching, to everyone supporting me, thank you very much. And we'll see you guys on the next one. So what's up guys? Here's a Dyna. And we found a shady spot to sit it and do some walk arounds. For some of you guys that have been following the channel a little bit, you'll see some things that have changed. Some of the new guys uh, don't really know, but about a year ago I purchased this bike from a local Harley dealer after looking around for a while. And what it had was uh, the wheels were already powder coated black. And that was it. It had some doodads that were already done black. But uh, one of the first things we did right away was I put some cheap eBay t-bars on it that have been replaced um and then next was the exhaust but let's start up here at the bars um these are bunking uh eight inch internally wired bars and with the lucky dave's uh riser bar and just a standard that's their bunking mount and after that because the fxds just have the single gauge mount i uh, went with gorilla cables uh, to get the harness so it's all plug and play to add the tack to that setup and this little tack mount just a cheap uh, I think I get them from JMP cycles they're like 45 bucks ish uh, for that and one of the next things that we did was uh, elite moto tech for the easy pull clutch lever and their brake lever as well so it matches on both sides um, these work with the Harley eyelet and they work with the Harley one inch bar so you don't have to do anything as far as that goes they just bolt right in like you're putting another lever on and also went with the uh, quarter turn throttle uh, G2 ergonomics there's a video on the install on that and you always got to have an LED light if you've never had one on a on a Harley before you definitely need to check one out uh, they're a hundred times brighter than the factory incandescent and buddy of mine gave me these little axle cap covers that just cleans it up a little bit in the front and did a bunch of research on a crash bar and this one is a Santoro Fabworks uh, crash bar it's super clean, super high quality, a little bit cheaper than some of the other name brands out there, but everybody really loves them, so I went ahead and went with that. Uh, next thing on the bike is a Vance & Hines Sage One Air Cleaner Kit. Uh, don't need anything more than that, just get rid of that big, ugly factory one that's on there. And of course, support my boys at Purpose Built Motorcycles with their timing cover. And of course that Basani Road Rage 3, that beautiful exhaust, uh, it's super cool. I did a bunch of research on that. Uh, I kind of wanted to go with the black one at first because it's a blonde motor. And I'm so super glad that went with the stainless because it's definitely different. Um, don't see many stainless exhausts on Harleys around here, believe it or not. So um, after that, I think around the exhaust time we did the uh did the seat gotta have the saddleman step up that thing keeps you locked in the seat it's seriously like uh, being in a race car seat or something like that you don't move around side to side or front to back or nothing uh, they do sit up a little bit taller than a factory seat just keep that in mind and the drivers are gel so uh, probably the com most comfortable seat i've ever had on a harley and let's go to these shocks um super happy with these things man they're right around 260 from drag specialties uh they're adjustable height and went with uh imcz elite for the arp hardware which i think is an awesome touch um has a little bit of custom and not a lot of people notice it and that's kind of what i like so 
and these Amazon copies <laughs> uh, MX style pegs I, the last ride my last vlog was was my first ride on it so yeah they're super grippy man your feet don't slide around at all and they feel like little floorboards so uh, next up was my moons MC uh, it's integrated tail it's got the turns in it on both sides so you don't have to have turn signals hanging off the side like those ears they look kind of goofy but uh, yeah super cool low profile um, super bright and have no problems out of that thing and this plate mount is a super super low plate mount from uh, purpose-built motorcycles uh, they make that thing it is it is super reasonable I think they're like 40 bucks you know surprisingly so super cheap and super easy to install that oh I almost forgot about IMZZ seat bolt lock you need that anytime you know high dollar seat you don't want to leave that seat sitting on there and let somebody get that thing so um, on this side again uh, purpose-built shift lever uh, that thing really with the spherical bushings really changes the way the shifting feels and it's it's super positive you, you, when you shift it you know it's in gear and that thing's been awesome and and once again that's I think they're under a hundred bucks for that so one of the big improvements was uh, the chain conversion that we did on it uh, it's a bunking rear sprocket I think TBI front sprocket but yeah I went with the 60 tooth in the rear and the 24 up front that's that's all from TMF cycles they put you te together a kit with the ARP hardware and and all that stuff so you know all you need is a special socket really to do that job but yeah that's a little walk around of the Donna uh, hope you guys dig it I it's probably the funnest Harley I've ever owned in my life I totally understand why people buy these bikes and and ride them it's sad really sad they don't quit they quit making them but at least uh, there's a bunch of used ones out there for a relatively decent price if you can find one that's not had a bunch of money thrown at it already so uh, once again guys if you like the content hit like hit subscribe hit comment let me know what you think of the donna uh, i love it and we'll see you on the next one